A commercial is an advertisement for a business. Most of the time they're used to try and promote a product or persuade you to try and buy something. But sometimes, sometimes these advertisements are incredibly disturbing. Sometimes the only thing that they're intended to do is scare you. Hey Mingos, how's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing great. Today we're going to be looking at some of the most disturbing commercials of all time. I'm using the word disturbing here because I don't wanna say they're the scariest commercials of all time, just because everyone perceives horror in a different notion, but nonetheless. The first commercial we're going to be looking at is this really weird fear-mongering video that was released by the team of Lyndon B. Johnson in 1964 titled The Daisy Ad. This was strictly used to tell people to get out and vote for Johnson or they're gonna die, literally. This video starts with a little girl counting and I guess picking daisies off of a flower and it's really creepy, honestly. It gives you a really eerie vibe because you don't really know what's coming next. And then as soon as she reaches nine, Six, eight, nine, nine, a countdown begins in a man's voice and she hears it and looks up and then it starts panning into her eye as she's frozen in time into a nuclear explosion, I suppose. And then you have Lyndon B. Johnson come on and say, we must love each other and die. Honestly, this video is ridiculous. This was used as a campaign ad against another candidate named Barry Goldwater, and it's like, how awful. Fear-mongering has been a thing in politics for like, ever, and this video is disturbing to say the least. Scary Japanese tire commercial. This video starts off with two Japanese men driving down the road, and I don't know what's blowing all over the place, but then a girl appears and they slam on their brakes. Then they get a little nervous and start talking and boom, the girl appears at the windshield with great sound effects and the men go in reverse and scurry up out of there with the girl staying still. Watching this originally for the first time was definitely pretty eerie. The sound effects are honestly really good. And the scare, even though you kind of know it's coming, it still has its value, so. I can respect it. I always think of this situation though when I'm going down a back road or a road that's super curved. I'm always thinking that a creepy girl in some kind of ghost robe or something is just going to jump out and appear right in front of me. I, I cannot be the only one, right? Skittles Yogurt Boy. This video starts off with a random guy who has a butler for some reason and he wants his butler to go get him more yogurty covered Skittles. And so the butler starts walking down to get the Skittles, I suppose. He gets to the room and he says, and look at this thing, okay? Look how disturbing this creature is. What even is this? Why? The butler is sticking Skittles into the yogurt boy and he's just going insane. And then the butler gets the guy exactly what he wanted, and look how he reacts. Poor butler. I can't believe that this was actually a commercial. This actually got greenlit. I'm going to have nightmares about Yogurt Boy for the next 14 years. The way they created the character is so creepy and demonic looking. I don't know if this really makes me want Skittles or not, it kind of makes me want to get an exorcism performed on myself. Kind of makes me want to call Ed and Lorraine Warren to come and help me. Sprite Sun Fizz, a commercial from the 90s. This commercial starts with kids running in, yelling at their mom, saying they're thirsty, and their mom has the perfect solution. She gives them Sun Fizz, and then a character pops out and look at their reaction. <laughs> Definitely not the reaction that I was expecting. They're terrified and start running away and the character just starts chasing after them. And then, of course, the mom falls. Honestly, I included this commercial because it's hilarious. Trust your gut, not a cartoon character. When I first watched this, it honestly made me laugh pretty hard. 
I thought it was going to be more disturbing than anything, but honestly, it was just really funny. I don't understand the premise behind this or what exactly this video is trying to convey or do, but it's really funny. So I just I just really appreciate it for that. Bizarre loves baby soft 1975 TV commercial. This commercial starts with a girl licking a lollipop with a guy who's being incredibly creepy in the background in only my right earphone. And she kind of looks like Taylor Swift, but the guy is saying very perverse things that are just weird. I mean, just listen to this. Body lotion, body powder, and body mist. So innocent, it may well be the sexiest fragrance around. What? This is just so creepy. Innocence is sexier than you think? Ugh. That's so gross. You cannot put the word sexy anywhere near the word baby. He said a cute cuddly baby that grew up sexy. Like what? It's crazy how different the times were in the 1970s. Like this commercial would never ever be okay today. I mean, it was not okay then either. I don't know how people were letting that slide. So, so, so weird. The PS3 baby commercial. This video starts with a baby doll in a white room with a PS3 and ominous music playing. And then all of a sudden, the baby sees the PS3 and starts getting excited and laughing in a disturbing way. And then he starts crying and says mama, and that's pretty much the end of the commercial. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know what exactly to think of this or what exactly even to say about this really. Why was this a commercial? How was this targeting kids or gamers in any way, shape, or form. It's pretty terrifying, honestly. And I, I, I can't imagine anybody sees this and is like, dang, I really want to get a PS3 now. I see things like this and I'm like, oh, dang, I can't sleep for the rest of my life. I want to know what the people who made this were thinking when they made this. It's just very, very weird. What is the thought process behind a video like this? Like, how does this get made. But if you made it to the end of this video, I just want to say thank you a ton. It really means a lot to me. I'm really into scary things and things that just go bump in the night. So if you want to see more videos like this or more videos in general, then just please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Thank you, Mingos, and I'll see you next time. Okay, I will.